Pokemon has always been a happy, cheery game where you go on your epic adventure. But sometimes, these games have darker secrets, hidden where only the trainers who dare look will find them. Creepy things like ghosts. Ghosts have been a part of Pokemon since the very first games. And since it's the month of October, I don't know how it's already almost over. Today, what we're going to be talking about is the Ghost Girl. The Ghost Girl is an NPC that started appearing in Gen 5. As the name suggests, this character is a girl who is also a ghost. There have been a few Ghost Girls throughout the series, from the girl trapped in a never-ending nightmare in the strange house, to the hex maniac waiting by the elevator for the one, to a weird preschooler who causes mischief at the Pokemon school. And of course, there is a Ghost Girl in Galar, which is what we will be talking about today. So there is this side quest in the game, which is where we will start. In Hammerlock, there is an odd school looking building, like it's something out of Harry Potter. Here you'll talk to a girl that looks like a preschooler just near the door. This girl tells you that there is someone she fancies and has written a love letter. And right away, I notice something weird. Notice that she uses the word fancies. Now, I don't know much about British English, but saying fancies seems a bit more of an adult work for a kid this young to be using. But that may not be important, so we'll move on. She tells you her name is Paula and asks you to deliver a letter to a boy named Frank in Bal Balloonlia, Balloonella, Bal Balloonlia, you know, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. She then gives you an old letter which says, A letter entrusted to you by a girl, to be delivered to a boy. Strangely, it looks old to you. Okay, this letter looks really old, but whatever, she could have just found the nearest envelope which just happened to be old. When you get to Balloonlia, you find a child who you would assume to be Frank. When you talk to him, you will learn that Frank is his grandfather's name. Okay, well, maybe there's just two people named Frank who live in the town. Head into the nearest house and you'll see an old man. You assume you got the wrong person. When you give him the letter, he mentions how he and Paula used to play when they were young. But she got very sick and didn't tell him. They ended up getting into a big argument about it, but he moved away before they could make up. And he never saw her again. He will take the letter and reward you with a choice scarf. Just gonna put that on my Draco Vish real quick. It's implied that when Paula was sick, she died shortly after Frank moved away. If you go back to the old building, you'll notice that Paula is no longer there. If you look where she was standing, you'll receive a Reaper Cloth. A Reaper Cloth is an item that is required to evolve Dusclops into Dusknoor. Dusknoor is meant to be the Grim Reaper of Pokemon. Many Pokedex entries say that it'll guide lost souls into the spirit realm. After picking up the item, you'll hear an unidentified voice saying, Thank you for delivering the letter when no one was around. So, what happened? So. What probably happened was that Frank and Paula were childhood friends, but Paula became very sick and didn't tell Frank. Frank found out and they got into a fight, but then Frank moved away before they could make up. Shortly after, Paula died from this sickness. That child you see near the old building is a ghost. This would explain the use of her more adult way of speaking and why the letter was so old. She has been waiting to give the letter all this time, and you, the player, were able to deliver it, putting Paula's soul to rest, then causing a Dusknoor to bring her to the afterlife, while dropping a piece of its cloth in the process. If you go back to Balloonlia and talk to the young child outside, he will tell you his grandfather has a spring in his step, and he thanks you for delivering it. If you go back and talk to Frank after delivering the letter, he will say, Do you have a dear friend in your life? Make sure you treasure those dear to you while you still have them close. This side quest isn't just trying to creep you out. It's trying to tell you to make the right choices and to treasure your loved ones, because you never know what will happen in the future. Frank and Paula got into a fight, but Paula died just before Frank could apologize and make up. Now Paula has been waiting years to deliver this letter, her soul was lost in trying to send it, until you arrived and gave her letter to Frank, 
finally putting her soul to rest. I would also like to mention that in Frank's house, one of his granddaughters is standing in a corner. When you talk to her, she tells you not to interrupt their conversation. I don't think she is talking to the ghost of Paula, because the Reaper Cloth implies that her soul was taken to the afterlife by a Dusknor. She could have been talking to a different ghost, or maybe a ghost type Pokemon, or she just could have been talking to herself, as children often do. I tried to look around the town, but I couldn't find anything that could be related. This was probably just put here to fit the creepy theme. This story isn't as creepy as the stories for the other ghost characters, but this one was more sad. A ghost who just wanted to say goodbye to her love, but couldn't. And it was up to you to deliver the letter to allow her to rest in peace. So what do you guys think of all this? Do you think this is how the true story goes? Let me know in the comments, and also tell me if you find any other paranormal activities around the Gala region. In Pokemon Shield, the ghost gym is in a town right between Hammerlock and Boon- b b Why can I not pronounce that? Balloonlia. Maybe Stoneside is some kind of barrier that stops ghosts from traveling in and out, which might be why she couldn't deliver the letter herself. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, and let me know if there's anything I missed. I actually wrote the script and planned this video to be a long time ago, but uh, I kind of forgot about it. So now that it's almost Halloween, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna finally make this a video. I have some other Halloween stuff planned, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.